Hey, everybody, Professor Doom here. Hey, I'm at work and I'm on my break. And uh, so I was taking a look at all of the activity that's going on. You guys remember I did a video almost two weeks ago. And what did I say? I said that expect a, well, I thought it was going to be equal to the one we saw out of uh, the Philippines, remember, there was a 6.0 and a 7.0. And I had said that take a keep your eye on Chile or Peru area. Yesterday, there was a 6.2 in Chile. Is that what it was? Not this one here, but this one right over here. Nope, it's not that one. And it's not that one. Uh, here, let's 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 get down to the bottom of this and and take a look and see what's been hitting over there the past couple of days. A six point two in Peru, and then today there was a five point seven. But you know what's interesting is that right up there in the Aleutian Island area of Alaska, as you will see today up here it's kind of going slow i don't have all that good of a signal but take a look at there right at the volcanic um activity right there there's a volcano right there you know what's interesting now they are reporting that a cosmic ray that scientists cannot explain where it came from struck the earth back in November of uh, uh, November 23rd of this year. And I've been trying to research to find out if gravitational waves have anything to do with cosmic rays. There's something else that I wanted to show you guys as well. Just a couple of days ago, I did a video that was showing this object that was passing the helio viewer i did find this object on the helio viewer we're going to take a look at that and what's interesting about this is that if it indeed is not a celestial object passing uh the sun and someone made a very good point about this is that well if it was something that was passing the sun wouldn't it block out the sun from the earth? Well, depending on where the location is that it was being blocked, what if there were a bunch of clouds in the sky? Well, you wouldn't even know that this object had blocked the sun if you can't even see the sun through the clouds. Isn't that correct? That's one thing to think about. But here's the other thing. Let's take a look at this Helio viewer, because like I said, keep your eyes to the skies because there's a lot of interesting things going on and science cannot explain where these cosmic rays they call the goddess particle and it's named after the Japanese goddess Amaterasu, which happens to be the sun goddess. Very interesting. Well, Let's take a look at the Helio viewer and let's take a look at that. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to start this before I can tap into here the way this thing works. And if you'll look here, indeed, is the Helio viewer. And let's take a look. Here we go. And that is me adjusting the time on here and you're going to see this object go past the sun on the helio viewer there it is now why am i showing you this well i want you to see the other scene where it explains to us about the moon not this being the moon but i'm going to show you the moon passing the sun being captured by the viewer. What is interesting about this? If you see this passing from the right to the left, this would mean if this is Earth, that the sun would be doing what? 
rising in the east and setting in the west. I want you to imagine you're looking at this celestial object from the sun's perspective. And you would be seeing what? The sun, or you would be seeing the earth passing from the west to the east, meaning that the sun would be east to west. Let's take a look and see what the moon looks like passing the sun from the helio viewer. Sorry about that, everybody. This is the only way I can do it. What did you guys see about the lunar trans transition around the sun? The moon is transitioning from the left of your screen and going right. The other object was going from the right to left. Well, how, how can we possibly explain this? The problem is, is either this is a celestial object or the other argument could be made that what? The Earth is absolutely round. If that is indeed the Earth, how does anybody explain their theory about the flat Earth then? That's all I got to say about that. But there's going to be more and more earthquakes. They're going to be gaining in strength and intensity. And as you can see, they're striking all around volcanoes. More volcanoes are going to be going off. There is more gravitational waves that are hitting the Earth. Cosmic rays. It's looking pretty interesting, everybody. Thanks.